Welcome to my newest series, To the Sun. Being plagued by worry about the state of our developing world can put us under a dark cloud. We assume that the power belongs to others. We ourselves could never hold even a modicum of it. If we cannot hold power, how can we shift the social atmosphere to something equality and justice to bloom? Please follow along with me as I direct you to some helpful resources you can take advantage of to make some real, on the ground, grassroots changes right now. I will also provide some ideas that are DIY. That is, you can start them all on your own, no pre-existing organizations needed. Without further ado, let's start here. Medicare for All, an overarching healthcare system reform proposed and cultivated by, most famously, Bernie Sanders, would provide cost-effective single-payer healthcare to all U.S. citizens if instituted. However, Medicare for All has had a rather shaky go at things and has been tripped up numerous times by people who simply cannot wrap their head around paying a little more taxes for better healthcare. Nevertheless, Medicare for All is a hot-button topic that many organizations are pushing for, including the NNU, National Nurses United, and the DSA, the Democratic Socialists of America. What can you do? Medicare for All is already a very visible issue, so the best thing you can do is help literacy education and simple promotion. A lot of folks are not very health conscious or literate but they are tired of health insurance companies bleeding them dry for an ambulance ride or a tooth extraction. As such, going directly into the community, whether that be at school, town hall meeting, community health clinic or health department, etc., to educate people about their health care can be encouraging. Topics can include chronic disease and management, preventative care, vaccinations, dental care, and managing a healthy diet. Social media marketing is very strong here. If you can work with the team to get a website going that gives the basic facts about Medicare for All, that will allow people to easily access your site or your account to get the quick Sparks notes on the topic. For activists who prefer to utilize phone calls as a means of change in addition to networking, I would like to direct your attention to fivecalls.org. Five Calls has an index where you can find a list of issues and methods for contacting and following up with the appropriate purpose. Five Calls has an index where you can find a list of issues and methods for contacting and following up with the appropriate people. If you can visit a senator, governor, mayor, sheriff, or house rep, then please do and voice your concerns. I know this is the really basic one, but a lot of these bills, proposals, etc., have already passed in one chamber of Congress and need an extra boost and an incentive. Along with doing other kinds of practice, it doesn't hurt to push these key issues along with your voice and influence. Campaign Zero was started in the wake of George Floyd's tragic, wrongful, and brutal death by protesters who wanted to end police brutality and over-policing in our communities. In order to protect ourselves and our loved ones from undue harm, Campaign Zero has designed a primer and vision to introduce curious people to policies that can benefit the smallest town to the largest city. Some of their policies include ending broken windows policing, mandating body cams, and more. If you would like a guide to keep handy with you during a protest, and it can also function as a before and after protest guide as well, Please visit handsupdontshoot.world for more information. Successful transformation vis-a-vis -vis any social justice topic can only be accomplished if everyone pitches in and is on the same page. If you and a group of fellow do-gooders would like to come together and host a School of Organizing, 
this eight-week course offered by Popular Resistance will serve you well. Included is everything you need to know and get started when trying to build a social movement of any kind. In their own words, quote, this eight-week course covers basic social movements theory, including models of power, stages of successful social movements, roles of individuals and organizations in social movements, overcoming obstacles and tools for developing strategy and choosing and evaluating tactics. The parts are Class 1, Power Holders versus People Power. Class 2, How to Build Popular Power. Class 3, Stages of Successful Social Movements. Class 4, The Three Final Stages. Class 5, Roles of Individuals and Organizations. Class 6, Overcoming Obstacles. Class 7, Infiltration. And Class 8, Tools for Movements. Popular Resistance encourages those who complete the course to teach it to others in their local community. I will include a PDF in the description to download at your convenience, and I will also list all of these links in the description as well. This video would not be complete without organizing. If your workplace isn't unionized or you're trying to kickstart a movement of your own from the ground up, then home.coworker.org is for you. A quick start guide towards recruiting possible members, organizing and keeping track of meetings, and tips for staying under the radar are included. It's equally as important to consult with your coworkers in a manner that will resonate with them. I would also like to take this moment to enumerate another helpful resource that will aid you guys in your journey towards a more fair and equal workplace. This is an article from Vice entitled, how to organize your workplace without getting caught. Key pointers include, know your company, aka the enemy, don't talk business in range of the higher management, use a secure channel, and if you want to report to the press about a major demonstration, please do so discreetly. In addition, if you have any workplace abuse to report and you would like to do so securely, please use SecureDrop at securedrop.org a program used by many whistleblowers to send information to journalists without leaking their own personal information. If you don't mind the name brand, BuzzFeed has a wide outreach and range with young persons especially, so contact their investigative journalist directly at buzzfeednews.com slash contact. In the same vein as Medicare for All, College for All is what it says on the tin a conscious national effort in lowering college tuition and subsidizing education for all at affordable rates that will also allow higher education to be permissible for all. No longer will students have to drown under student loan debt. This coalition is also working in close contact with the direct action team at Debt Collective, resisting student loan payments on principle, denying their legitimacy, and saying no to predatory lending and usury. Probably the most obvious choice of action towards making systemic headway on an institutionalized basis is becoming a part of a big-name team of people with a similar progressive agenda. The DSA is the biggest representation of leftist-adjacent activists and organizers in the United States, so it's a good place to get some footing and do some networking. There is an offshoot branch for young DSA members. The DSA endorses presidential candidates, creates newsletters, runs social media accounts, organizes protests, supports union organizers, and more. Also, I believe Jacobin's founder and writer is a part of the DSA, if I'm not. If you aren't super into being a part of a top-down organization like the DSA, I can understand. But they do offer internship if it's a stepping stone to your own progressive agenda, so that's good. Some of their policies include Medicare for All, the Green New Deal, labor rights, and eco-socialism. Less of a formal activity and more of a case-by-case -case basis scenario, we should always be aware of election integrity and potential violations of our rights. If you witness someone being disenfranchised, 
please do your duty and call the Election Protection Hotline at 1-866-687-8683 and visit the website vote.org slash election protection to report an incident. This is a big responsibility that seems small at first, but in reality, a person, especially a person of color or an ex-felon, can have their ballots invalidated, messed with, thrown away, or the person can be blocked from entering a voting booth, be threatened, or denied entry legally because of an arbitrary reason. Please keep watch. For progressives who also want to be armed or learn how to defend themselves using firearms, the Socialist Rifle Association is a very inclusive and welcoming place for all people of all ideologies. The SRA will teach you all about gun safety use, even if you're a beginner. They also participate in mutual aid disaster relief and are helping out in the aftermath of Hurricane Ian. It should be noted that the SRA does not only provide training for firearm defense, they are a general nonprofit that focuses on community defense. As such, they teach techniques like self-sufficient agriculture, medicine, and wilderness survival skills. If you would like to be a member and cannot afford dues, they have a waiver you can apply for. The final source on this list I have to share is Housing Justice for All. Their fight specifically prioritizes low-income New Yorkers of color who cannot afford their rent, so if this demographic is not your focus, or if you and or a loved one don't live in New York, then this might not be as engaging of a cause. However, if you're down, then Housing Justice for All has two main tenants they are combating. The public sector's failure to provide quality housing to low-income people and the disproportionate power the real estate industry has. Housing destabilization and price inflation has only gone up with the advent of COVID. Over 92,000 people in New York are homeless and 50% of low-income renters cannot make rent. The people involved in this organization are fighting to end spurious eviction, including supporting bills that would give tenants the opportunity to purchase and the ability to set up a housing voucher program. Thank you for joining me for episode one of To The Sun, a journey to spread awareness of the many resources that we can take advantage of to propagate our quest for fairness, equity, and justice as social progressives. Be well, everyone, and I will see you soon.